What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. Let's check out his team, see what he has. Engelbert Hex. I have no idea who that is. 8 2 and one's a really good record for <coughs> humans. Right, and pitch invasion is canceled. He's missing a blitzer, an edge blitzer. That's nice. So he'll have a 12 man roster. No coach, no cheerleader, so I'll have him on that. Three re rows, nine fan factor to my 10. He's got a rookie thrower, a mighty blow tackle blitzer, a guard blitzer, a blodge blitzer. I've got enough tackle to help deal with that. Um, an ogre with block guard, a couple of rookie linemen, two more rookie linemen. A lineman with kick and guard, and then a couple of catchers. One is move boosted with wrestle, and then one is block sidestep. So, <coughs> solid looking team. Only three blitzers would be nice. How much am I giving him? 180. So he'll probably take the uh, the wizard, I'm sure. So, showing this for uh, for Swerve and for everybody else that hasn't seen it yet, my new drinking mug. So I can uh, drink the uh, drink out of the skulls of my enemies. <laughs> Got that the other day. Pretty cool mug, nice. <clears throat> um, I think it was like Thursday, Wednesday, something like that. All right, so he did take the wizard like I expected. <clears throat> Let's hope we win the toss here and can do damage first. We do. Nice. Oh, where? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I ordered it. I seen it on a, an ad somewhere. I forget where. And then I got on Amazon and checked, and it was on Amazon. <clears throat> but it came from China. <clears throat> I ordered it like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. It took about two, two to three weeks to get here. Um. <clears throat> uh, so I seen it a long time ago actually the first time I seen it and Cheryl was supposed to get it for me for Christmas but she forgot and then I seen it again like a month or so ago, and I'm like, oh, crap, you know what? I forgot all about that. I'm going to go ahead and order the damn thing. It's really nice. The uh, the, cu the cup inside is metal, so it keeps the water really nice and cool, especially since I'm in the basement. It's already cold down here anyway. And it, it holds a full bottle of water, so I don't have to. Uh, my last mug only took about three quarters of a bottle of water, so I had to have a quarter of a bottle of water sitting there. And then when I had enough, drank out of it, refill it. <clears throat> but this one fits the whole uh, the whole bottle of water. So, cheers. Hey, welcome to Nassau Pope, and thank you. It is pretty sweet. I gotta admit, it's pretty badass. <clears throat> I enjoy it. It's fun anyway, right? That's what matters. Ooh, puts the uh, thrower out there for me to get a potential hit on. I like that. <clears throat> That's right, bring everybody in for me. <clears throat> Keep her back, get him up, get him up. <clears throat> All right, so he rolled a six to go for his nine. I rolled an 11 to go with my 10. Wow. So he ended up at 15. I ended up at 21. So I got fame again. That's nice. So all three games today I've gotten fame, which is good. <coughs> nice weather, so that's nice. Uh, I don't know whose stadium we're in. We're in mine, so no weather changes. That's good.
Kick doesn't really help him too much, especially if he gets a blitz, it doesn't help him at all. And with my kickoff return, I can at least get there. I get the reroll, nice. So because I have fame, I got fame, and because I have the cheerleader and the coach that he doesn't have, I get a reroll no matter what. The only way he gets one is if he rolls a three and I roll a one. So <clears throat> we're good on all of that. We'll take the both down. That way I don't have to get myself out there in harm's way because we are going to pile on. No break, though, unfortunately. Because why would I... Look at that. How many times do I do that with three dice, man? How many fucking times? I mean, it absolutely makes no sense how often I do that. It makes no fucking sense. No break on any of those hits. Ugh, that sucks. See if we can at least get a break on the thrower. We'll foul him if we don't. No, no, we're not going to foul him. I apologize. We are not going to foul him. <laughs> Thought we would foul him, but nope. <clears throat> they decided against that. Get the pickup. That's good. All right, so now the question is, can he get to me right here? With the wizard. He's got catcher here. He's got a catcher off. He's got a catcher off. Okay. That catcher can absolutely get down there to me if he makes some dodges. So we're going to leave our other thrower here for protection. <laughs> Is it worth fouling a rookie? I don't think it's really worth fouling a rookie here. <laughs> ah, we're actually going to come over here. Now we're actually just going to stay right where we're at. Uh, he has been really good at fouling until last game. Last game he was not worth a shit. I think he fouled three or four times and never broke. I don't think he got caught though. He just didn't break. It's not worth fouling a rookie lineman here. I'll save you for a better foul later on. <clears throat> Even though it was a solid chance with the seven plus and uh, eight, seven, yeah, seven plus, and then you had dirty player. But <clears throat> I like where we're at here. We got some good positioning. He's not going to be able to really get through to the ball easily this first turn, which is good. We'll see if he tries to blitz with the ogre. Excuse me, with the ogre or not. We got good positioning with our tomb guard. Tudan Guardians to keep them protected. <clears throat> he could get the Blitz with the Ogre on this Tomb Guardian here. That's the only one he could get a 2-die on. Oh no, he could 2-die on him too. He could 2-die on either one of those. By standing him up to take the assist away from the other and moving a guy in for an assist. <clears throat> But, yeah, he's going to mighty blow this guy here, which is what he should do. That's absolutely the, the play he should do. <coughs> but he does give me a potential two-die mighty blow on his guard piece, which is nice. <coughs> Arcane he needs. He got five points his very first game, and he's never got another SVP since. You know, all he needs is one casualty to level. <clears throat> oh, wow, he didn't blitz there. Why wouldn't you blitz with the Mighty Blow? Wait a minute, what the hell was he doing? <clears throat> I don't get that at all. Is he going to blitz with the... Over? Wow. Um, okay. Oh, he is. Okay, I didn't see him blitzing that way. 
Interesting. He does have block. Fuck any KOs, but you lucky prick. Wow. <clears throat> that was not supposed to happen. Lucky bastard. <clears throat> and of course he makes the dodge out, because why wouldn't he, right? Lucky bastard, man. That's a damn shame. <clears throat> Absolute damn shame right there. Freed my guard up. I would have never got these hits right here that I just got. Should have never freed up my guard, buddy. <clears throat> oh, nice. That's a dead motherfucker right there. <clears throat> Should have went the other way, actually, though. I should have went with him. Because then I could have came back out and got my guy to safety without being hit there. That was a bad play, actually. But that's a dead for Twomble. Nice job, Twomble. catcher at. Gotta watch out for his catcher here. That he doesn't do goofy shit with him. Actually, he could come around here, blitz here, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he could do some goofy shit there. <clears throat> oh, nice. No blitz there. We like that. <coughs> we like that. We'll take the no blitz there, for sure. <coughs> That means for now he's safe. He's probably going to blitz with the Mighty Blow here, though. <clears throat> what was that guy that I killed? He was just a zero. <clears throat> <clears throat> we'll take that. I don't think he'll follow here. Yeah, I didn't think he would, because then it puts him on marking two Tomb Guardians. It gives me a free Tomb Guardian hit. That's a one die. <clears throat> and that's a one die. So we could see that Mighty Blow Blitz here now. Yep. No yellow here would be really beautiful, please. Ah, he gets it. Damn it. He won't follow. Of course he breaks. Now you can get two dice here. Should follow here. Yeah, because if he didn't follow, he gives me a chance to push the ogre out of the way. <clears throat> I didn't want him to mark up there. That sucks. <clears throat> 
Oh wow, he's gonna get two dice on the Tomb Raider. <coughs> I didn't expect him to do that. Good play though. Saves him from taking a hit from that Tomb Guardian at least. <coughs> Nice, no break there is good. Does he dodge out here? I bet he does. <coughs> Ooh, the foul. A lot of rolls here. Come on, fail one of these. Wow, he makes them all. Lucky brick. <coughs> and he gets the KO. Lucky bastard. Did he get caught? Yes, he got caught at least. <coughs> so that's good, at least he got caught. <coughs> Take it. on them motherfuckers. Did I use a reroll yet? I don't even remember. He doesn't have blocks, so yeah, we'll do that. Nice. I'm glad I did it. <clears throat> At least keeps him marked up, makes him have to uh, do the dodge or the hit. He'll probably stand him up and just do the straight up hit, but it takes those two players' movement away for the rest of this next turn. <clears throat> Unless he just stands him up and then dodges him out, but I would not expect him to do that. Oh, he used the fireball. Did not expect him to do that there. But, just in case he did, that's why I lined my other two players up behind. And they... Nice. We'll take that. <coughs> Wizard's gone, and he only took one guy out. And it was a... Skeleton. Block skeleton. Oh, fuck. I had my edge piece off the pitch? How did I not have him on the pitch this half? That was a bad mistake. But the wizard's gone. And that's good. <clears throat> and that was why I lined these two pieces up the way I did in case he did fireball. At least I'd have some guys here to potentially do something the next turn. Had the fireball went a lot better for him than what it did. <clears throat> he does have the... Oh, nice. That's a big bonehead right there. Heck yeah. Oh, and he failed the loner. Nice. He used a reroll on it. That could have gave him a shot on the ball, though. That's why he did that. Because if he gets the takedown there, or even just a push, he's got guard to get the hit there, and then he can follow in, and then he can blitz in that way. So that was a big, big bonehead and loner right there. <coughs> we'll take it. We will take it. So instead he does a one die. Oh, wait a minute, how did he get two? How did he get two dice there? Because he should have taken a, an assist away. No guard there. I'm taking him away. He's got guard there. So three, four. But that takes him back down to three. How the hell did he get two dice there? Hey. 
Oh, the guard takes his negative assist away. Never mind. The piece actually takes his negative assist away, and the guard gives him the die. Yeah, yeah. That was absolutely the right... The right, um... <clears throat> what it should have been. Two dice. I was a little messed up there for a second. <laughs> it was absolutely a little messed up right there. Hmm, excuse me. Alright, so what we're going to hope for is we're going to do the hit here and hope to get a yellow. Because if we get a yellow, then we can get the tackle hit on this guy. Which would be big. So let's hope we can get a yellow here. Perfect. <coughs> we'll follow up. That will allow us to do this. Nice. Beautiful. Let's hope we break him. Nice. Oh, nice. And a KO. Even better. So there's his blodger gone. <coughs> That's a big piece to get out. Absolutely a big piece to get out. Um, what do we want to do here now? Um, still got rerolls, so I could still move him. No! Phew! Thank goodness. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and mark this guy up here so he can't blitz. I was thinking about fouling, but since I got the guard in there, I don't need to foul. Alright, so... Because no matter what, he's, a, he's uphill here. <clears throat> Unless, no, actually he's not. Oh, shit, I screwed that up. I shouldn't have followed there. Damn it, because he can stand him up. And then move the guard in and get a one die. Damn it, I screwed that up. Yeah. He's going to be able to move and get his guard in. I need to do the one die here. Come on, push. Oh, that'll work even better. That'll work even better. It lets me mark up the guard again. So now he's got to dodge out if he wants to do something with that guard. All I really needed was a push to at least make him do the hit. But that'll work. <clears throat> but he can get a one die hit on my guy here, my throw route with Mighty Blow, which sucks. I totally messed that up. I should not have followed right there. Should not have followed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I should have thought that out a little bit better. But, depending on what he does here, I could potentially surf. I've got him in a bad spot here on the sideline, which is good for me. <clears throat> oh, wow, he didn't blitz there. Interesting. Oh, it would have been a one die to push him off with the unskilled. No, that is a block guy. It would have been a one die. Because he was a negative assist, and, and he was still on the ground. He was hoping to get a yellow there because he wanted to get the guard in on me. He had to take the both down there, though. Stick skull saves me. That's nice. So now what does he do? Does he blitz here and move the guard over? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he does. So that gives him the two die with the ogre now. Yep. <coughs> 
Oh, nice. No takedown. That's good. So now we could potentially surf here. If that's what we choose to do. It means not getting hits on these guys, though, if I do. Actually, no, it doesn't. Yeah, no, I don't have to. I don't have to, actually. Actually, this, this could work out really well here. If the dice go right for me. <coughs> I was hoping to save this guy to potentially get the blitz on him, but... <coughs> I think I'm going to do this a little differently here. We either get a mighty blow hit on him or we take him down. We get the mighty blow hit. That's fine. <coughs> Unfortunately, no break, but... <coughs> See if we can get lucky and get a pal here. Nope. See where he sidesteps. Might sidestep here. Nope, he didn't. Nice. <coughs> Um, what do I want to do here, actually? Actually, we're going to do the hit here first before I do anything else. <coughs> then we're going to see if we can make this go for it here. <coughs> nice. One, two, three, four, and move in. <coughs> or I can go one, two, boom, boom. No, I don't want to do that. <coughs> hey! <coughs> Four. We're going to reposition and get off the sideline. If he wants to make those dodges, he can to get a one die with an unskilled piece. <coughs> yes, Hunter, what's up? Nope. Haven't heard back from him yet. Still waiting to hear. I figured it'd probably be this evening, though, because he's... Uh, recuperating from pneumonia, so he's probably still sleeping and resting right now. <clears throat> no takedown there is big because that's no mighty blow on that skeleton now. He can just stay there and keep marking that ogre, which is good. So I think he dodges a guard out and gets in here, and then he dodges for the two die hit here. He does still have two rerolls. Probably should have came down here instead of in the middle. Oh, he's going to do the one die there, and he gets the push. <coughs> that doesn't help him. It helps him to free him up, but that's it. <coughs> he's hoping to get the takedown, either the yellow or the both down, because then it would have freed this guy to get the guard in without having to dodge. 
It was actually a smart play there because I don't have guard and he did. No, oh, no, actually block. I did have block actually. So it was only a two and six chance to take him down. <coughs> but what he can do is a one die hit here and then if the ball comes out, pick it up with him and punt it downfield. <clears throat> oh, he decides not to do that. Gonna do the one die here. Ah, there we go. Nice, no takedown. That's huge. Because he can't follow, and that frees my tackle piece up now. I don't think he follows here. Yeah. <clears throat> he probably tries to dodge through. Or does he just stay there to stay in the way of me getting the blitz on him? Could do that. Or he could do that. It's a one die on the throw right now if he chooses to do that. Nope, gonna go for the hit on the Tomb Guardian instead. <coughs> no takedown, that's big. Probably pushes him right here and then stays. <coughs> if he does push him there, it gives me the free hit on the Tomb Guardian, unless or on the Ogre, unless he follows. But if he follows, I just hit him and move right back in there. <coughs> We'll take that. That allows me to push there and mark back up. <coughs> nice. He'll re roll it, I imagine. <coughs> Does make it. That's fine. That forces me to blitz there at least. <coughs> And a big KO. Nice. break right there. <clears throat> so that gets me there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I got plenty of stuff there. <coughs> I still got three reroads, yep. <coughs> so I don't mind doing the go for it here. Just hope to God I don't want in 36 it. Shoo, we're good. And we'll just stay just like that. <coughs> so another big takeoff on that KO there. <coughs> it's another roll he's got to make, and especially on his only mighty blow, reliable mighty blow piece. This guy's pretty reliable with the block, but <coughs> he does still have to make that uh, bonehead roll that the blitzer doesn't. And we're set up here to potentially get a tackle hit on this catcher this next turn, potentially, depending on what he does. <coughs> would have been nice if we'd have got the, K or the cross there instead of the KO. It would have leveled Arcaney. That would have been nice. Ogre does get the uh, hit on the skelly this time, and he does break him. 
Just a stun, though, so we're okay with that. Had to use the Mighty Blow on the armor break. He blitzed with the Ogre there. <coughs> ah, that means I won't get to hit with the, uh, with the tackle piece now like I wanted on the catcher, unfortunately. Rero. Yep. Nice. We'll take it. Oh, we'll really take that. That gets me away from the ogre now. Thank you. Oh, and he followed even better. golden right there. I like that. <clears throat> he shouldn't dodge out here. He should just stay there. Shouldn't have done that. Alright, so now that lets me potentially get there. Okay, so do the hit here. Oh, I needed to get the take down there. Damn it. I really needed to get the take down there. <clears throat> That sucks. He's got me blocked up now. <clears throat> got me blocked up now. Not a whole lot I can do. Um, fuck, I really needed a takedown right there. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> <laughs> See if I have to use my reel there. I did, so I'm glad I did that hit now. At least I know that I've got that out of the way. <coughs> I needed, man. That was the pal that I needed. Damn it. <clears throat> Give me a pal. No. Wasted my pal on the last hit, unfortunately. But, this is okay. I'm going to be able to follow up, which is what I want. Doesn't really matter where he goes. There's not a whole lot he's going to be able to do here. <clears throat> he will have the guard here. He'll probably move it up here and do the blitz with the ogre and move the ogre in to mark, would be my guess. That's his best play, to get the ogre moved in here with that guard.
That is absolutely his best play. See, I don't like doing it that way. I mean, I know it gives you the two die here and lets you mark me up, but I don't like doing it that way. Well, and that's turnover, so that's good. No rerolls. <clears throat> and that lets me get the potential hit with tackle on the sidestep guy. <clears throat> if I can get a good roll here, just to push, that'll work. Three dice here. Hopefully I kill him. Oh shit! I was just kidding when I said kill him. Well there goes the APO. Come on, don't be a badly hurt. Anything but a badly hurt, baby. Oh, it's not dead, but it's a perm. <clears throat> nice. He takes the injury. That's one of the two catchers gone. Lose a point in edge. Oh, that kills him right there. Might as well have taken the death. Might as well have taken the death. That was Splat Bros. Nice job, Splat Bros. That's a big takeoff for the next half, too. All right, so she, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, does not need to make a go for it. So since I still have my rerolls, I'll do these hits. Thankfully, I got block. I don't know why I try so hard to get three dice with my Tomb Guardians, because I rolled three die red so many times. I mean, it absolutely makes no sense. This is a risky, risky, gutsy play here, but I'm going to do it. <clears throat> and I'm going to try one more here. Got away with it. So the greed uh, uh, didn't burn us that time. Oh, 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 the cross there would have been nice. That would have gave him two. So the MVP would have leveled him. But instead, we'll take the score and be happy as Barasco gets the touchdown. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, I just didn't like the way he played that. The safer hit would have been the hit with the um, with the ogre, right? Because he had blocks. Even though you had to make a roll with the ogre on the, the really stupid. And then you could have moved, if you blitz with him, you move him in and get his guard and his strength marking the ball. So I just really did not like his play there. Doing it the way he did it. I know why he did it. I just don't like it. I don't think it was the right play at all. Oh, my guy still stays out. All right, so who are we going to put up here? Him and him. <clears throat> Everybody else goes back. Hope my other guy comes back next turn. I got two of the three. That's good. And the Tomb Guardian was one of them. <clears throat> All right, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so he's missing one of his catchers, a really good catcher. He's missing the lineman that got caught fouling and the dead lineman as well, rookie lineman. <clears throat> so I've definitely made this a costly game for him, that's for sure. <clears throat> Sixty one point nine percent, that's pretty good. <clears throat> and a lot of matches.
Humans is what he plays most, and he's 68.9% with them. So he plays humans very well. Good with Dark Elves, 65%. Good with High Elves, 66%. So he's over 65% on his humans, and Dark Elves, and High Elves. <coughs> Trying to set up the potential one turn here. <coughs> he needs two pushes with him. Unfortunately, no sidestep slows him down a little bit. He's setting this up wrong to begin with. He's got to have this space open, really. He needs to move this guy here and have this space open so he can blitz a guy in there and then hit and push out this way. The way he's going to do it now, he's got to push this guy here. Oh, no, I see what he's going to do. <clears throat> Never mind. I see what he's going to do. No, no, this is a good play. He's going to blitz here, push him here, push him into him, into him. Yeah, I see what he's doing. This is a good play. He's got a solid chance here. As long as he doesn't get a reroll, we'll be all right. He'll have to make a lot of rolls without a reroll. Hopefully the kick goes to the end zone, which makes this pass a lot tougher. It didn't. It stayed close to the line. <clears throat> He doesn't even have to pass now. He can just hand it off. Now he'll still have to pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he'll still have to pass. Oh, he gets the pushes. That sucks. So he got his first hit. Unfortunately, he needs a guy here, and he doesn't have a guy there. This might be your best chance to pass, actually. Go here and then pass. So he can't do the hit here, because if he does the hit here, it pushes, and he pushes here. It makes him have to do an extra hit. <clears throat> if he pushes here, that doesn't do him no good. So he's got to do an extra hit here. Yeah, he's got to do it that way. He's got to do the extra hit. This is probably your best chance to do the pass, though, <coughs> and take your chance on the three-plus catch and the tackles on. Elsewise, you're going to have to take a go for it to get uh, the better pass. So, yeah, this is the best time to do the pickup pass. And Does he have sure hands? He does. So he's got sure hands and pass. Yep. So he's got the reroll for both of those plays. He's got the reroll for the catch. It's three-plus across the board. Oh, he does the hit there instead. So you push the ogre, push the ogre back, <coughs> follow up. Now you get to hit here, push, push, push. So unfortunately, he got all the pushes that he needed, <coughs> and then he gets the yellow that he needs there. So he got all of his all of his block dice perfect. <coughs> now he's got to make the pickup. And now he can't even make... He's got to make two go-forts to get it to the better pass. No, he can move him out of the way and make the go-fort in there. No, that still is not good enough. He has to move the ogre. Yep. Don't even do that hit. There's no reason to do that hit. Why? Do that, move in one, get your pass. Oh, he double ones the pickup. <laughs> Shoo! No one turn. Thank goodness. <clears throat> now let's hope we get our killer back. We do. Nice. Hope his guy doesn't come back. He does. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, now, do we go heavy on the line? I mean, it's going to give him hits if I do on the Tomb Guardian, so no, we don't go heavy on the line.
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11 on 9. We like it. <coughs> we like it. If we can't keep him from scoring, we try to make him score quick so we have enough time to score back on our own. We get a few takeoffs here, and we're good to go. <coughs> we'll have him in a really, really tough spot. So him not having a reroll didn't even affect him there because he double failed with the built-in reroll anyway. <coughs> Good, he's doing exactly what I was hoping. Well, I was hoping that he wouldn't put the ogre and hit him, but I couldn't stop him from getting the three dice on the uh, on the skelly, unfortunately. So he'll get a mighty blow hit on two skellies with the ogre in him. A blitz would be nice. Perfect defense would be great. Perfect defense would be awesome. Instead, I get the reroll. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> we both rolled a one again. It's the exact same to start the first half. We both rolled a one. Four, five, six. And he can mark up with other guys to block it off. <laughs> he should do that before doing any kind of hits. Crazy, man. If he double skulls that, or quad skulls that, then I get right to the ball. That just makes no sense to me why he's doing these hits first. At least bring one guy over to cover the ball up. That's nice. We dodge two potential takedowns, one with Mighty Blow. At least move this guy over to here to mark the ball up. I mean, you're being so risky doing these hits here. Nice! We like it. Finally gets takedown there with the ogre. And he does break. Smart play there. Keeps me from tackle piling on on this guy. <coughs> Which is absolutely what I was going to do. Hmm. Does get the take down there, unfortunately. Ugh, he ended up breaking him. Needed him to not get the break there. I wanted to stand him up. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Alright, so we got to place our Tomb Guardians nicely here. Guard down in here. 
<clears throat> and it gets to tackle on this dodge piece as well. Ooh, and a nice break there. Ooh, and an injury. No APO. What is it? Ooh, lose a point in edge. Nice. That makes him less mobile with that guard now. We're actually destroying his team right here, so far anyway. And that was for Splat Bros on that one. Nice job, Splat Bros. And that slows him down even more because that gets one of his uh, guard pieces out. Oh, I gave... Huh, I didn't give it to Barasco. I gave it to Narasco, whoever the hell that is. So there's Barasco's five points that I missed earlier. Splat Bros with the ten on that one. Yeah, he's repositioning like I thought he probably would. Well, hello, beautiful. <clears throat> That's why I kept guys on this side. Potentially. Does get the yellow there. So what that'll do is he'll hit, he'll be able to follow in here. And get the assist there. Yep. And then that'll give him the assist there. Oh, nice. No takedown. We like that. He can't follow because he needs the assist there. Yep. Does get to take down there, unfortunately. Come on, no break. Nice job, Chucker. Way to take the hit, baby. You can get one die here now. Nice. Does he use a reroll? He does. Beautiful. Forces him to use a reroll, and he's got to push him to where these guys are still marked. But now he can get two dice, which is fine. That's fine. We're okay with that. Still in a decent spot here. Yep, yep, I'm fine with that. Fail this dodge with tackle on it, please. Please, 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 fail this dodge. Oh, damn it. I'm supposed to fail that dodge, man. Lucky bastard. Hmm, that's interesting that he did it that way. Stand him up, stand him up. <clears throat> Gotta get him marked somehow. So let's go for it. How do I want to blitz here? That's the question.
break. Oh, where's the cross? Damn it, that would have gave him two points. It's a big break, though. Gets that Mighty Blow piece out of the game. Absolutely huge break right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So we're good with all that. And then I'm just gonna bring this guy right here. That keeps him from getting one die there, at least for now. That was a big piece to get out of the game right there, for sure. Now I don't have to worry about that mighty blow hit anymore. But man, a cross would have been nice. It would have gave him two spider or two SPPs, man. Damn it. We're slowly closing in on him, though. We're closing this middle of this pitch in. We got him resorting to or resorting to one die hits, <clears throat> even though it's with the block over. Oh, and he breaks. That hurts. He wasn't supposed to break there. He's in a desperate situation here. He's trying his hardest, or they're just getting desperate to do what he can do here. I'm guessing maybe he just does a bunch of dodges through here and then tries to dodge out with him and get the ball to the catcher. He could dodge out here. He does have one die with the blitzer there to get the tackle out of the way. Or he could dodge out here to get two die. He's got to get this tackle piece pushed out of the way before he does these dodges. He can't take a chance of him having to dodge with that tackle on him. He's running out of time, though. <clears throat> Wow, he's going to do the dodge first. Oh, and he fails the first dodge. Oh, he double fails. Nice. Well, that fucked him. <clears throat> that pretty much fucked him royally. Uh, I was really hoping to get the hit there, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. <clears throat> I'm going to have to hope I don't have to use the Frenzy here, because if I do, I go into a one die. Good, I didn't. Ooh, and a break. KO. Will not use the pylon. Means my guy does get in position to have to take a potential hit here.
Come on, Swerve Olio. Let's see if your fouling game is back in play for this match. Since you were such a terrible fouler last game. Nope. Carrying on with your bad fouling. <coughs> At least you didn't get caught. <laughs> At least you didn't get caught. So that turn went very, very well. Cannot argue that turn. Nothing bad ever happens to my opponents. <laughs> no, bad stuff happens to him. It's usually... This is a good opponent, though, and he's not doing bad, terrible plays. The bad stuff that never happens is when my coaches or my opponents do bad, terrible plays and get away with it. This guy's actually a really good coach. <coughs> Knows what he's doing. Absolutely nothing wrong with how he's playing. Can bounce the ball here. Pretty good bounce. Again, I don't need to score here. I just need to keep him from scoring. So I've still got all five of my rerolls. One, two, three, and five turns. So I can use my reroll every turn now. Yeah, he'll get the ogre hit on my frenzy piece. Well, at least give him a halfway chance to pick the ball up. And he doesn't have tackle on the catcher, too. <coughs> he does get the takedown. He's actually not in a bad spot here. Actually, he can get a really good hit on the ball here, actually, because he can blitz now right here with the guard. Yeah, he absolutely has a really solid shot right here. And I don't have tackle to get a hit on him now. But very nicely done. Very nicely done right there. <clears throat> Makes both those. He's almost got to go full potato here, right? Yeah. Absolutely what he has to do. Ha! Ah, need him to fail those. So I can still get to him, but it's going to take some rolls here. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually would be a good dodge. Mark these guys up. Wow, he's in really good shape right here. Not Nothing I can do either. All I can do is get a two-die hit right there. <clears throat> he played that very nicely with where he was at. Got in excellent shape. It's a one-die, yep. Uh, so, so this gets it there, that gets me a two die there. Put this guy all the way down to here. Get some more there. Get the two die here. We'll do that later. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do this play first. Let's see if we have to use our reroll through any of this. <laughs> the very first roll. This is going to end up being a draw. Yep, gonna end up being a draw because I don't have anybody down here to do anything against him. He can stall out for another turn at least. 
Uh uh uh. That sucks. All I needed was to at least just get a push there and push him back one, which would have helped. Then I could have done my moves around the edge here. Hopefully made some go for it. That stinks. Yep, and I can't do nothing. I can get close to get pressure on him for next turn and force him to score to leave me three turns left. But that's if he doesn't make a lot of rolls here. Luckily, I still got a reroll for every turn, so. <clears throat> ah, that's what I needed him to not get. God dang it. And he breaks. Wow. That is a skelly, though, right? Yeah. Thick Skull saved him. That's good. So now he gets down here and blocks him up. Hmm. And he gets the break. That really hurts. Because he can't stand up and remark now. Why go that way? What good does going that way do you? I don't get what going that way goes. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice right there. That will probably allow me to force him to score next turn. That will probably allow me to let him score. Nice. I doubt he rerolls that. Yeah, I wouldn't think he would. Alright, so... Go for it, fuck. Oh, fuck me. That saves him. Yeah, now I can't even hit him next turn. Unfucking real, man. God damn it. Now he stalls out another turn. Unfucking believable. Wow. What a shit time to double one, man. That saves him. He stalls out again, and now I only get two turns. And I break myself, which is even fucking worse. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Wow. The dice failed me these last two turns and were perfect for him. Well, not perfect, but it was perfect on the turn he needed him to be when he got the ball free and picked it up. And he played it well to get there. Absolutely played it well. That turn just screwed me right there, though. I needed that to not happen. That double one. That really sucks. That really sucked. Thankfully, he's so far out of the play now. See, that's why he shouldn't have moved him up. I, I just don't understand why. That's the one play that didn't make any sense out of everything he did was moving this guy back up here. He does you no good up here. If you'd have moved him down here, now all of a sudden you get him down here to get two die hit on this guy. Instead, now you basically just wasted him. That All that gets you is that hit. Yeah, and that doesn't really do a whole lot for you. Because I can still free a Tomb Guardian up right there. Uh, 
It's just an absolutely terrible play right there, in my opinion. The play before when he moved that guy up. Did him no good whatsoever. <coughs> Need him to fail his dodge. God dang it, really? <coughs> That's interesting. Why? <laughs> he gets the yellow. Wow. His dice just got good at the right time. His dice got perfect good at the right time. <laughs> and he breaks. Because why the fuck shouldn't he, right? <coughs> Dice got perfect at the right time. At least he didn't get the take down there. That's good. Got a follow here, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. <coughs> Alright, so we know what we got to do here. hit first, this take down first. Good, we did. That allows me to do this. Get in the way there. <coughs> uh, if we get here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get some down there. Just gonna do the one go for it. It's the better play. Oh, Jesus, man, come on, really? At least I get the takedown finally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can't stall no more. Well, he could, because he could dodge out here. That's the real question is, does he dodge out there, though? Can I get to him with him? No. He does still have the re-rolls. Nice. Ooh, and I took his 5-6 away, too, even better. So that at least makes him make a dodge and a go for it to mark me. Shame he was broke. If he wasn't broke, that would have made that turn a lot better. He just scores good. Well, at least we were able to force him to score. And we got two turns left to score ourselves, so. And we do have an edge piece, which is nice. And we have reroll. Hopefully he fails these. Beautiful. That makes a huge difference right there. That makes a huge difference, him not getting those guys back. Less guys for him to move now. Three, four, five. He's only got six guys. Nice. He's not going to have enough guys to mark all my guys up from scoring potentially here. So And we got our kickoff return throw raw, which lets us get back into position nicely. And his kick piece is off, so he can't kick it where he wants to kick it. So everything's lining up nice for us right here to be able to have a solid chance at, uh, at pulling this off.
All right, let's see what we can do here. Three turns would have been better than two, but at least with two, we have a chance. A catch right here would be super nice. Save me a roll. Oof. Oh, shit. Crossed out his catcher. Oh, and a miss next game. Damn. KO'd my guy, but that's all right. My guy being KO'd is not nearly as bad as his. Wow. That was big right there to get that catcher out. That was absolutely big right there. <clears throat> All right, now, that was the safer hit. Oh, no, that was my, oh, that was my other throw rod. Shit, that sucks. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get this guy down here to blitz, potentially. Six, seven. Actually, we want to go up one more. I wanted to make, well, it doesn't matter. I probably wouldn't have done another go for it there, but <clears throat> now we need a pickup. Whew, got it on the second one. All right, so we still got a chance here, guys. We still got a chance here. Big take down there. We put ourselves in a position to have a chance. We're just going to have to make a catch on a handoff and then a go for it or two go for it. <clears throat> Depending on what he does here. My guess is he moves the guard in here and then blitzes the edge piece. <clears throat> That's my guess. And that's the right play.
No sense in re-rolling it because you pushed me out of scoring range. Fail these. Nice. Double fail it. Double fail it. Double fail it. Nice. <coughs> That's nice. That's nice. All right, so we shouldn't do these hits, but we're going to do these hits. <coughs> because we can get three dice on them. Shouldn't because we all know how my three dice are, right? <coughs> Absolutely, you're right. It is going to be greed time. All right, so I didn't get burned on that one. <coughs> didn't pay off, though. Now, do I do the two die here? Yes. Fuck it. Greed away, baby. Didn't do me any good. All right, we need a four plus here. Hopefully, uh, doing that last block got that two out of the way at least. So hopefully that uh, give me the play here. Nope, roll to one. Double failed. One one. <coughs> well, that sucked. So a draw it is. He t he did really good job to get to the draw. <clears throat> my first two rolls on that three die hit was pushes so they could have easily both been threes and I failed the handoff anyway one of them could have been a four though and I could have made the handoff so hard to say without uh, doing that play first probably should have done the handoff first and then uh, then potentially did the hits if I didn't if I still had the reroll body armor with the MVP <clears throat> shouldn't have just done the hits to begin with that's always uh, always my issue is I can't get away from those hits Unless it's a match that absolutely means everything and I have to make sure that I do everything right and not uh, not do the greed hits there, then I won't. But games like this, I'm absolutely going to do them. And you guys all know me well enough to know that, don't you? <laughs> Alright. So, at least it was a draw. It wasn't a loss, so that's good. Could have been worse. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. I don't think we got any level ups there, did we? Nope, no level ups. Still cannot get Arcane leveled, unfortunately. <laughs> I do. But I call myself greedy, too. And I admit it. <coughs> and I admit that I should get burned every time I do it. <coughs> right. I absolutely absolutely will call for him to be punished just as I call for myself or say that I should be punished as well and I don't get mad when I do get punished hey <clears throat> <laughs> you are the best skeleton because you ain't skill you ain't done shit yet you've been on the team since day one too haven't you I think you have and you haven't even got one SPP yet <laughs> you are absolutely the best skeleton all right so we got 20k do we keep the 20k and spend it or do we now nah, let's get rid of it now <clears throat> No sense in carrying the extra TV in to start the game. That might be the difference to give my opponent a wizard. <coughs> Do 
time is it? 3.30? Alright, let's spin up for another match here. I'll be the first, absolute first one to admit that I'm the gre one of the greediest coaches in the game. At least that I know of. <laughs> there might be some other ones out there that are more greedy, but I don't know them if they are. <clears throat> and I'll be the first to admit that I should get burned every time I do greed shit, just like I just did right there. Nope, no response from McLean yet. Uh, actually, you know what? I haven't checked the forum, but he's supposed to... Uh... He was supposed to ping me in Discord, and I pinged him this morning and let him know. To hit me up on uh, Discord, so I'll check the forum real quick just to make sure, but... Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Where do I see the line of my, my people? Home. Back to the beginning. No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave may live. 